Hey, what's up everyone? So, quick update on the Big Blue. As you can see, a bit's been done to it, mostly pulling parts out of there. I pulled the marquee box off, pulled um, the monitor. Basically, all the metal parts that I want to have powder coated, I pulled those. So, like the marquee brackets, there was a bracket up here, the coin door, a couple of hinges and, and brackets for the control panel box. So I got that stuff all taken out. And actually today, just today, I dropped off all the parts at the powder coater. So those will get nice and shiny and looking good. And then actually I went back to the control panel. And if you remember, I was talking about, you know, I had to I had to mod the control panel to fit the buttons. Well, turns out I also had to modify the joysticks so that they would fit nice and snug in those um, those recessed areas in that control panel. And actually I recorded a, a bit of that, so I'll just cut to that now. All right, so I've got one of my Hori Hayabusa joysticks here, which I really like. And it doesn't have the bat top or a ball top on yet because it needs to be installed. But let me just try to illustrate the problem. Hopefully you can see this, but right out of the chute, these holes for this plate don't line up with these studs. They're just a little bit too far in the center. And so I can't install this, but that's easy to remedy because they make these universal joystick mounting plates. So that will replace this one right here. And this plate has no problem. If I can actually muscle it on there. <laughs> so yeah, no problem there. So very easy solution. I'm just going to swap these out. And then I'll show you the next problem. <laughs> okay, so I've got the plate on here. So everything should be hunky-dory, right? Well, it still isn't going to work on there, and hopefully you can see this, but if you look right up, uh, let's see here, there. This hole right here that's supposed to go over the stud is actually blocked by this header for the wiring harness, this little tiny uh, header board here. And not only that, if you look, uh, probably tough to see, but each one of the stud holes there's just a slight overlap with the corners of this plastic base. Just enough that it still blocks these studs. So in order to take care of that so that this will go on here, I think what I'm going to first do is remove this header, this uh, little board here, because it's just held in with a screw, and then extend these wires. I'll probably use some solder. Extend them so that I can pull this board entirely off and mount it on it somewhere else on the control panel away from this plate and then as far as the other corners go i think what i'm going to do is just take a dremel and just finely shave just enough off there that this will slide onto these studs so that's that's my game plan shouldn't be a big deal um there's a lot of plastic here so should be okay to go there's the only thing that worries me a little bit the gauge of wire for this header board is really tiny. So I'm going to be really careful because uh, there's hardly any gauge of wire there. I don't know what this is, like 26 or something like that. It's really tiny wiring going to this little board. So just have to be careful. But, uh, but yeah, that's the game plan. So hopefully that'll take care of the trick. <laughs> So as you can see, everything turned out great with those joysticks. I think they're going to work out really nice and extending that wiring I think is really going to help a lot. It's going to make things a lot cleaner. So happy with that. And then the next order of business was basically just working on the monitor. If you recall, I had another 25 inch monitor in my storage unit that I wanted to see 
how that picture looked. And since I have two monitors, essentially, I have the one that was in here and then I have that one, uh, I was basically just decided <laughs> I'm going to rebuild both of these and then choose whichever monitor looks the best. And so I rebuilt the K7000. It's a Wells Gardner that was in here. They're great monitors. They're workhorses. They're very solid. And the one that I had in storage uh, is a Gen Shin chassis that's on there. So the, the tube is actually pretty close. I could probably throw the Wells Gardner chassis on that tube. But um, the chassis is not a very common one. It's a Chinese brand, as you could probably guess from the name. But it, for whatever reason, I've had really good experiences with them. I have one in my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And for whatever reason, that chassis puts out a beautiful picture. And um, I really like the remote board on them too, because unlike the K7000, this one also has a horizontal width pot which you don't get very often. Usually you have to tinker with a width coil on the back of the chassis. So it's a real pain in the butt. So I brought that monitor in and I decided I'm gonna rebuild both of these and then just kind of compare the two and then select whichever one looks better. So that's what I did. I rebuilt both chassis, recapped them. I threw a flyback on the K7000 because it, it kind of needed it. The focus was a little bit off and uh, the picture was a little bit dull. So that needed a, a flyback. And both of them actually had convergence issues. So on the Gen Shin, it actually had static and dynamic convergence issues. So, um, and I don't need to get into to that, but I fixed the convergence on both of them. They both have a nice looking picture. And then I color balanced both of them and, and got them dialed in. And the interesting thing about the K7000 was even after I color balanced it, I noticed that it just had a softer picture. It was just uh, a, not very vibrant and a little bit dull, which is kind of rare after you rebuild a monitor. So that kind of made me wonder if the tube was a little bit off. So I hooked up my rejuvenator, gave the tube a good cleaning of all the color guns and, and gave it a, a mild zap. And man, did that make a difference. So that picture looked night and day different from when I first got the game. and. So I set them up side by side and just kind of compared the two images and ultimately the Gen Shin one. And I did record footage of this and I'm not sure how good it's gonna look. It's really hard to record how these images look on these tubes with a camera, but I, I did the best I could, but they both have really good images. And honestly, if I only had the monitor that was in here, the K7000, I would be, absolutely happy with it. The picture looks great. It does have some slight geometry issues that I think if I putzed with enough, I could probably correct. It has a little bit of a pin cushion issue, uh, little things like that. It, it's got, um, it's not quite as sharp as a Gen Shin, pixel for pixel. Um, it's got a, a tiny little bit of, um, like it, it dips a little bit at, at the top, but ultimately, it's very minor. I'm splitting hairs here, but uh, they both look good. I'm really happy I'm going to use that Gen Shin monitor, and then I always have this one as a backup. So really happy with that. And so that's about all I did, I guess, the last, well, all I did. It's a lot of work, but um, that's pretty much what I did within the last week or so. And I think the next order of business is really, I need to pull off the T-molding. I need to... Um, actually get inside the cabinet, pull some more parts out of there, and basically get this all ready uh, for laminate. So I think the laminate's probably going to arrive next week. They thought it might arrive this week, but I'm going to be out of town anyways, so um, that'll probably have to hold off. But I got to get this ready for laminate and, uh, and of course, the powder-coated parts. So from here on out, it's going to be a lot of cosmetics, and I'm still waiting on artwork. So I think that's supposed to be arriving real, real soon too. So a lot of things are on hold because I'm just waiting on stuff, but there's plenty to do. And I don't know if you guys could notice this, but I've got, uh, probably not because it's not in the shot, but <laughs> you can see I've got all these, all these wires. The, this is basically the wiring harness for the control panel. And I only have, I have three micro switches I just plopped on there so that I could go through the um, test menus of the game while I was working on the monitors. But uh, yeah, that's still dangling here. So I need to remove that <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. But I think that's, that's pretty much the game plan is going to be getting this thing ready for laminate, which will be 
a big overhaul, but that's going to look great. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So anyhow, that's the update, and I'll see you guys in the next video blog. Take care. Mm -hmm.